Cool, awesome. Let's do our uppercuts and lateral lunges. So I wanted to make sure you guys had a good toolbox uh, for training the basics, the fundamentals with the heavy uh, mace as well. So that's why I had Laura come in and demo. So um, over, over grip, go ahead and come to your mountain pose, grab your mace and um, over, over grip. Let's just touch on the landmarks here. So full grip confirmation, knees are straight, glutes are on, chest is forward. So his hips are squared towards the front and then uh, go ahead and punch your, this hand down so that the mace is actually here, parallel to the ground. So I'm gonna do a little torque test for Laura here. So resist me hard here, good, from your glutes and from your lats. Resist me here, this way. Resist down, straight down, power breath, good. Resist me this way, good. Resist me this way. So do that on your own at home, guys. This is over, over grip. We're looking for neutral wrist, resistance and dynamic tension in all directions. From here, come to cross body bottom and hold. Good, so just, and he went full into full uppercut. So let's just come into cross body bottom first. I'll demo it. So we're here and just here, seat, seat belt. Seat belt. Cool, so I'll show them and you can just cool. go back to over, Perfect. over grip. So we're here, good, back to over, over grip. Landmarks make it succinct. So I've got over, over grip, right side. Like when you're in a mace class, you don't have a lot of time to describe things. Over, over grip, right side. Cross body bottom. It's called cross body bottom because the globe is on the bottom. Goal post or uppercut position. Hips are squared forward, rip and crush. Come back down through your seat belt and back to over, over grip. Uppercut. This is really difficult for average people to accomplish. So to break that down, come to a goal post here. Come to a goal post here. Other way, <laughs> or actually no, that's the right way. Here to here. So if someone's having trouble with the goal post, have them check it, come here, then go back to over the left side. Some coaches teach their uppercuts. I've noticed Coach Bethany is down here a lot. I like to go here <sighs> because I'm trying to yield the maximum force with the mace. Step forward, left leg, static uppercut lunges. So just in place, Lor. So that's the dynamic. So here, we're gonna watch Mace's, or Mace's, Lor's movement. Pause and hold on your uppercut. Good. Higher. Good, neutral wrists. Resist in all directions, good. Awesome, back down. Try it out on your own, 10 reps, guys. Uppercut lunge, power breath. Uppercut. Adding a little speed, keeping the core active. If you are not familiar with the body weight fundamentals, review them on Kinesiology Yoga, or you can check out the first module of movement coaching where we did functional movement screen for this. Good, and then step it back, switch sides. So let's do both sides modified. Notice how he switched, go ahead and come through bayonet switch. Yep, and you're just sliding the mace forward, letting it roll off the fingertips. Cool. Bayonet switch. All right, so pause on that side. Resist in all directions. So I've noticed yours likes to angle up. Let's, the way to fix that is to slide it back a little bit more. Yes. Ah, yeah. So that you're, so you're, you're punching down the Yes. Back. Push down. Good. Resist. Good. Squeeze glutes on. Straight leg straight. Good. And try just a couple uppercuts first. Power breath. Get out of the way. I think I'm like in three camera zones right now. All right. Oh. Oh. Awesome. Pause and hold. Um, straight arms back here. Yep, pack your shoulders. There we go. Good, uppercut. So this arm wants to do a little bendy thing. Let's rip and crush. There we go. Leg straight at the knee joint, glutes on. Now we're in the more um, expanded position. Expand your mind, expand your body. <laughs> and step forward, opposite leg. Try your static lunges, guys. Opposite leg. Right leg. Good. Static lunge is in place, guys. So a static lunge, we're staying in place and incorporating the uppercut with the lunge. Keep the mace traveling co close. You can do like 10 reps. Matt, mace travels close to your body as it comes through that uppercut. Power breath. Work on your stability, work on your torque. Yes. Level two, step it back. Let's do a bayonet switch and switch sides. Pack your shoulders, find your parallel mace. Hips shining forward, pull your hip bones back in space a little bit. Yep, good. Dynamic uppercut lunge, step forward, opposite leg, hit it, hold. Good, hit it and hold. Let's fix that uppercut a little higher with the wrist, neutral wrist. Good, awesome, tone your core. Yes, good, and back. 10 reps on your own, guys. Power breath. 
Checking out your form, look at your landmarks. Is your over over grip actually parallel to the floor? Where is your power leakage here? So go ahead and do one. And then, good, and then step back. Common misalignment here is not knowing where the feet go. So widen out your foot stance. Make your foot stance really wide and imprint that. So step into your lunge lower and step right back into that wide stance and hold right there. Straighten out your legs. Let's get rid of that. Yes. <laughs> Overcut. Good. Pause and hold. So we're looking at his alignment here. Why a little wider with the feet. Your foot should land literally right there. Right there. See how much in it went? Woo! Oh. <laughs> Whoa! Hold! Torque! Yes! Good! And back. <laughs> Two more. Good! Last one. Pause and hold. See how far you're still going in? Own it! There we go! Heel down! <laughs> Good! And back. Switch sides. <laughs> Bayonet switch. Brings me. Okay, pause and hold. Show me your proper angle of your mace. It's still doing that funky angle. In order to do it back more, the hand has to come farther back. So if you have people that struggle with this, it's because their wrist is so close to their hip. You have to bring it back and now rip, punch, yes. Chest, yep, cool. Straight legs. <laughs> look, look at your feet. So you're stepping forward with your right leg in a perfectly straight line from there and then stamping your heel into the ground. Go ahead. <laughs> this is hard for Woo! good and now step back and when I say you stamp it into the ground it's like so we go here and then we own this stance ah. wide here good good and what we're looking for knee alignment go ahead and step forward pause and hold bring everything keep your feet exactly where they are just bring this knee back yes and squeeze this glute on good and hollow body yes so many little nuances to look for. That's it. Now hit that lunge again and let your knee land right where your heel was. Good. Squeeze this glute on. Tighter. Yes. Good. Now on your next lunge, try to end up in that position. You can do it. Power breath. Good. Yes. Better. Last one. Yes. Good. And step back and rest. Chugging breath. Inhale through the nose. Exhale. 